we set up and called multiple times you know, where, where we'd see wolves that had cut in fresh tracks where they had cut into these cut lines and we'd call and nothing. And we'd realize that the wolves had gone another 10, literally 10 to 12, sometimes 20 miles from where we had cut their tracks. So they were continually moving. So the call never even reached their ears. Not at all. That's the hardest part about them. You have to get in their wheelhouse. Well, I was starting to think it's probably not gonna happen. I mean, you know, it's tough. I know, no, I and, know, and, I know. and what was amazing is one time we had, we set up and you heard the wolves howling. I mean, we had just gotten out of the truck. We had seen some fresh wolf tracks and Richard goes, those are wolves. And I mean, as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's, it's not like anything I've ever heard in my whole life. It is amazing. It is totally amazing. But I knew as soon as I heard that, I'm like, wheelhouse. We're in their zone. Pretty exciting just knowing they're here and hearing them out. I was like, man, and literally all of a sudden you start calling and within seconds and I'm shooting off my bipod and I had to extend it out. A lot of times I like to sit in the snow, but the snow's kind of deep. It's cold this week. So I've been shooting off my, my bipod, my bog pod, but I've had it extended out so I could shoot from a standing position. Well, we're set up to shoot down the cut line. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting them. <laughs> well, I, 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 as soon as I called, I could hear them. Oh, they're coming. And you could, the camera picks it up really well too, I'm sure. You can hear the them whining. And whining. It was probably the most exciting thing I've ever seen in my life because Richard, I mean, he starts to call up and all of a sudden he goes, they're coming. And you're like, do they? Holy cow. And I'm looking down the cut line and I hear this whining and Richard's like, right here, right here, right here. So I have to turn and I turn and the, the wolves, three of them literally are coming past us at 15. Yeah, 15 The yards. one pops out at 15 yards, 20 yards tops. And it I, from your angle, it stopped for a minute. I'm looking at it through brush. I have zero shot. And I hear Richard take him. And I'm like, I can't take him. I see you, a wolf, the animal I want more than anything and I can't shoot. And I'm thinking it's all over. So they start taking off and I'm I'm trying to get a shot. I'm looking and I, I'm on way too high a power. And I'm, I'm like, oh no, and I thought I was gonna get a long shot. And I'm looking and, and I see it and it runs through and literally I pull the crosshairs in front of the furs I'm, as it's running through the trees and I shoot and the first thing Richard does he's like did you get him and I'm like I have no idea and he's like well don't move you start calling yeah. and what blew me away is what the Fox Pro called using the lone wolf lone sound wolf that day, yeah. they started howling back again I've done a lot of stuff I don't even think I hit him I don't think I hit him was on 10 power. You didn't tell me he was gonna be 10, 15 yards away. Did you get it? Bar none, that was the coolest thing I've ever done. I've hunted lions, leopards. I've called in dingoes in Australia. And again, Richard looks at me, he's like, well, did you get it? I'm like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I said, if I missed, it was close, but it was running through the trees. It was, I was seeing trees and then waiting. And I said, it was a snapshot. And I, I really don't know. So tell him, anybody that's watching what you decided to do because it sounded crazy to me well basically i because I, I wasn't sure on your shot i said okay we know where they're at that's the hardest part about the wolf hunting let's go a long ways around and set up and call them again and i know you're looking at me like no way like there's just no way but so we went we went all the way around we walked down the cut line saw the fresh tracks and we had them within 100 yards i could hear them running through the trees you could again. hear them howling again oh, yeah. and then we started hiking in so we drew those wolves again a couple miles for sure Easy. i mean yeah. it was amazing to me and you could hear them howl way way off and then they howled right close and it was like they're coming again, they're coming again. but they didn't come out into the cut line no. 
But we, again, called them in using the Fox Pro call, which just blew me away. Is the camera picking that up? Let's hope he doesn't circle down the wind. And then we head back. Now, I am... Making excuses. <laughs> I'm making excuses. I'm telling Richard, man, I, you know, and he, he keeps asking me. It's driving me crazy because he's like, well, do you think you got it? I'm like, I don't know. I really, I really didn't know. All right. Well, we just got back to where we called those wolves in this morning. Unbelievable. Our next spot after this, we went to another spot, tried to call them in and came close there. We could hear them howling at us, but they didn't pop out and let us see them. Richard wants to sneak down in here, make very little noise, which I totally understand. We're going to slip in there see if I hit the wolf or not, and then we're gonna slip back out of here. So let's go take a look. Oh my god, dude. Oh my gosh, I got my wolf! We did it! We did it! We did it! Thank you! I can't believe I hit it! I can't believe I hit it! I got my wolf! Oh my gosh! Look at that! Right in the guts! Wow! Holy crap! Holy crap! When you said you heard something! Oh my gosh! Dude! Look at the size of this wolf! Look at the size of this wolf! How long have we been? How long ago did we shoot? How long ago did we shoot? A couple hours. What time was it? Three to four hours? He didn't make it 75 yards! Oh my gosh! Look at my wolf! I've. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm getting him full mounted. I hit him on the run and I smoked him! Not smoked no, him, but I hit him. Awesome, dude. dude, holy crap. When you said okay. you heard something running. Okay, we Look got at it. that. Look at that. Look at that. That's where I hit it. You have got to be kidding me. Dude, look at the size of this wolf. Look at the size of this beautiful gray wolf. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I shot it. I just shot a wolf with my Thompson Center. Dude, this is the coolest animal I think I've ever shot. And you, we had given it up. We had honestly thought I didn't get it. Richard said, how'd you feel about the shot? I said, man, not good. I said, it came in. I said, I didn't have a shot. It turned and took off. I didn't have a good shot. I said, I, I, I don't know how I feel about it. It was running away. I was zoomed up too much. I had it at 16, but when we sat down, I cranked it down and I cranked it down to 10 and I thought that'll be good. And then all, look at the size of this wolf. I can't even, dude, I can't even stand it. I'll talk about all my stuff in a minute. Look at the claws. Look at the feet. Look at the feet on that wolf. I am gonna full mount. I'm gonna full mount this wolf. This is one of the coolest animals I have ever, I've ever taken. I've ever taken. I didn't think there was any way I hit him. I honestly, this is a prime example of why you, why you trail stuff up. 
You know, this wolf was running, it came in quick, and it was the first one, and Richard heard him whining. You might be able to hear that on the video. You can hear me, and I was like, oh my gosh, we were expecting a shot down that huge cut line over there. Dude, I'm so excited I can't even talk. We were expecting a shot down this big cut line, and Richard's like, they're coming. And he says it like it's no big deal. And I'm like, oh, and then you hear him. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they came into the Fox Pro, the lone wolf sound. They're running, they're running right at us. I'm Fred Eichler, you're watching Predator Nation. This is the first wolf I've ever taken. 22, 250 with the Hornady Super Performance. And I just smoked a wolf on the run and I did not know I got it, honestly. Look at that. I'm glad we gave it a few hours, but we didn't need to. We could have come in here right away. It was, it was down.